morning wave. Four up wide field, head out the afternoon with the winds picking up a little bit. This is the uphill par three fifth, Jennifer Cupcho. Three early birdies, that would lead to a fourth. It's a seven on. Swing. Oh, this is very good from that lie. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Terrific shot. It's pretty good from any lie from the middle of the fairway. <laughs> Birdie. Solid putt there, Yeah, Bernie. Birdie Benelli. Yeah, she's been really impressive, and this is the one thing that we've seen her struggle with, is not getting off to the best of starts, but really turning that around here so far this week. That's definitely picking up in the afternoon. How did the course play condition-wise? It, it looks beautiful oh, wow. out there. What a shot. Wow. She just tied you. <laughs> We're at the 18th par five and another terrific young star, Yuka Sasso. Ninth hole of the day, walks it in, the U.S. Open champ from 50, what, four weeks ago. The 28-year-old from Hong Kong makes her home in Vegas now. Tiffany Chan played at USC. Monday qualified this week. She finished tied for ninth at the Bank of Hope match play, but because she was a sponsor's invite, she got no CME point. To, uh, in a no-cut event, have an advantage, I think. Yeah, I think you have to clarify that as a stipulation is if there is no cut in the event. But you could argue that that event in Vegas does have a cut. She looks like she's using a little bit more hands in her putting stroke than we're used to seeing. Almost hinging her wrists a little bit more back and through. That'll lead to a lot of inconsistency. With speed and direction. Nuni He long at the 15th. Coming back into the wind now. But it sure is fast on that front left. What oh, a shot. What a shot from Nuni He gets her back to level par. And out of that lie. Wow. All right, at the par 5 18th just a moment ago, U.S. Open champ from a couple of years ago, Alim Kim. Easiest hole on the course. Her ninth hole of the day. Especially with this hole playing downwind today. It almost is like a, almost feels like a par four to a lot of the players out here. He needs to land this just on the front edge of the green with the hole location being only seven paces on today. Just like that. Really well done. This from 175, this downwind. This was an eight iron. High shot, flag tucked on that right side. Got a draw just a smidge. All right. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I thought it was going to get a hop forward towards the hole, but still a good tee shot. Earlier today, this is Nelly for birdie at 13. And it's a good looking roll, but needed just that smidge more. Benelli remains at two under. That's tied for 36. Scoring is usually very low here. A tee shot. Oh, and this was a seven iron in her hand. She's one over par at the moment. Do with something good happening. And this is going to be something good, Tom. Certainly is. And that should lead to a birdie there for Se Young Kim. Over at the 13th, Se Young Kim for birdie. A little bit of wind on her back with this putt, which makes it a little bit more challenging. There you go, back to even part for Sayan. 13. Cup to get it to seven under par within one of the lead. Looks good. And drops. So Jennifer's on a great run today. Could well have the lead after the opening round here at the Maya LPGA Classic. Just a moment ago at the 11th, Gemma Dreibra struggled a little bit. One over par, looking to turn things around, and it might well happen. Here, yes, a two for the Scotswoman. That's back-to-back -back birdies. I'm excited to go back in, what, two months now? In August, here's Nelly, third shot. It's a really nice, cushy lie at the back oh. of the green. Oh. Oh. Well, Jennifer Cupcho has this for Eagle at 14 and the outright lead. Ooh. Go ahead. Yes! Oh. Jennifer Cupcho. 
2019 and Nelly in 2021. That could going to hang there. We talked about that slope at the front of the green, but that will get her to 10 under par. Chevron Championship, which led to that victory. Is this another one? It just didn't come back. Still, three is a good score, as we've mentioned. This is a tough hole. 17 is a tough hole as well. Eagle 18? Yeah, Eagle at 18. That, oh, yeah. hold on. That, uh, that was almost another short putt that missed there. Is a really good tee shot there. So three of, uh, well, two to go for a birdie at 15. Saw the good tee shot. It's going to five under par. It, it just is fooling the players. That whole location has just proved to be so tricky to pick the right line. Okay, so only a three for Tutukun. I'm halfway up the hill right now. And I can barely stand up, it is so windy. This also a wedge. Oh, and she gets a little bit more of a release, came in with a lower trajectory than Nelly did and was able to get it all the way back to that top shelf. To my eye. I think she was expecting that wind to blow it and she didn't get that right gust to keep it left. Currently 123rd in the race to the CME Globe. Two bogeys, two bogeys so far today. And hello, that should be a birdie there for Jay Marie. Jay Marie Green at 13. She was worried this ball was moving. And she does make the birdie there. Good two at 13 for Jay Marie Green. Fortunately, the golf course didn't get too much damage. They got about a half inch of rain, but didn't affect too much in the way of the bunkers or, or limbs down, and they were able to start on time today, which was great. NASA rolls in a birdie at the 16th. Thick stuff to be in this lie, Karen. Huge. That makes all the difference in the world. Because that rough is particularly thick and lush down that right side. That'll do. That wasn't far away. That pitched about a foot from the hole, maybe less. We we've talked so much today about commitment, which is the most important yeah. thing anytime, but especially when it's windy. It, it's so hard. You're standing over the ball, and all of a sudden you feel the wind switch, and just impossible sometimes to buy into it. And a chance to get mm -hmm. it to four under par, which is a really good score this afternoon. You to think the, the ball should move to the right as well. Get low and still through that one. Nice oh, part. Yes, so Nelly gets to four under par. Jody, a couple over par. I thought she might have a chance uh, last week. Couple back going into that final day. Is it going to stay up there? So she'll have a chance to eat into that two over score. It's a lot out of you mentally and physically. And the players that I know who have tried to play pregnant, they've said that they've lost power, yeah, they've sure. just struggled all around. It, it hasn't has really been head. a benefit in any fashion. So work to do for Jennifer Cupcho, trying to get it up and down to stay at 9 under. Technically so simple, Morgan, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. Say young. Downhill, but back into the wind. It's for Eagle. Will it? Go ahead. Yes! Wow, what a roller coaster of a day for Sam, but what a way to finish. That same sort of energy level that you have because by the end of the week you are absolutely exhausted uh, but early on. two eagles and nearly a third from nelly